Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Frickin' Tall Dude, the Friendly Gamer, coming at you with some more Madden 25. Today we're going to be doing a pack opening. What you see on your screen right here is we have the premium packs. You can get two for 8K, that will give you 160,000 coins, or for 16 bucks with the, with the season ticket, you can get it as well. Also down below here, you can get 10 unopened premium packs, plus you get a topper with 50... Draft collectibles. Now there are 1,020 collectibles, I do believe, all together. I'm not buying either one of these. I bought the bundle before, and I've also bought the two single packs before. You have a really low chance of getting any good cards. I've now found this out. Do not buy these. They are a waste of money. I pulled the bundle. I got 10 packs one time. As you'll see if you look back at my other videos, I think I had one pack that had a couple good 90-some cards in it. Like 90, uh, 90 overall plus cards. The other ones were complete and utter crap. All gold cards. Not to say you couldn't use them, but for 60 bucks with the season ticket, or if you're on the PS4, $75, you expect to get something good. You expect to get something really good. I mean, it's just the way it is. Like, if I'm spending $60, I expect to at least pull a Legendary or two, or an Elite or two. Something worth some value that I can sell. So, once again, I cannot stress enough, do not buy these premium packs. They are not worth it. I had to learn the hard way. I don't want you to have to learn the hard way either. But what we are going to do is I'm going to open up some Pro Packs. I figure, why not? I normally would spend 160 k on two premiums. Why not open some pro packs? Let's see what we get. So you know what? We're going to dive on into this. And hey, maybe we'll get something good. I did clear up my reserves, so we shouldn't have any problems with reserve limit. And I am going to discard um, the playbooks and the coaches and all the just the filler stuff. But everything else I'll keep. So by now, if you guys watch my videos, you know how we do it. we got to hit that triangle button and we're revealing all. So let's see what we get here. I don't have a set coin amount or pack amount. I'm just going to open them until I see not to open them anymore. Oh, I have a contract. Or that, or that. What do we get? Ben Lab, Chicago Jones. Coach. What was our gold? Lewis Dumas. Got a base. Okay, we quit selling. Okay, head on over here. Crack it to the box. Once again, let's see what we get. Boom. Got a bridge of work. Let's see what we get. Shibuti. Right, nothing too crazy. You got a Matt Castle. Brandon LaFell, Road to the Playoffs. Will Hill. Uh, Patterson. That. And the head coach. Yeah, guys, once again, too, let me know um, what are you guys pulling for Madden? You guys just doing coin games? You guys just doing. You know, you guys pulling packs, try to get some of these cards, or, you know, just what do you think about the video? Anything in general, just leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback so I either know to make these or not make these or what you guys want to see maybe later on down the line. I uh, would definitely like to hear everybody's feedback because you guys shape this channel just as much as I make this channel. So if you guys want to see something, let me know in the comment section. If I can pull it off, I'll do it. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a collectible. And that goes for like 3,000 coins. Not even that anymore. The Sammy Ball. But that's okay. I at least it's something. So, head coach, we got an Agility Silver. That's cool. Got a Monte Teo Road. That. Got a Capra Luke. So, we'll keep those other cards. Quick sell for coins. Bam. All right. Let's see what else we get. Poppins, poppin' packs. Start with the Drew Brees on this one. See what we get, and bam. Oh, and we got a Bruce Irvin. I'll actually use him. I'll try to complete the silver at least so I can get that. Now, those are worth doing. The, uh, the, what is it? It's the Bruce Irvin and the other one. I can't think off the top of my head, but both of those are worth doing, and probably the ones from here on out. Because they're gonna be, you're gonna be able to get draft packs with that. Now that you know, say you want to spend some coin, plus you can get a decent player in the mix too. So say you want to, you know, spend a little bit of coin on just like the cards you need for those those um, combine warriors, and that's great. Because then you could actually 
Um, you know, you can actually get something out of it because once you get, the, I think it's a, you get a jumbo and then you get a. Oh, there's Deacon Jones, Eddie. He ain't going for much, so I just checked his price not too long ago. Bam. And then, you know, you actually get to just be able to get some draft packs without pulling those premiums. Because, man, those premiums are such a waste of money. I definitely am going to do my research for the next Madden on what packs to pull and what not to pull. Because, man, I wasted money pulling those packs. And I will not do that again. I wish it would have came out with, like, the all pros aren't bad. And the legendaries aren't bad, though. All pros are probably the, I'd say the best bang for your buck because they're forty dollars with a season ticket. You get twenty of them, and they usually give you a decent top or two. But at the same time, I think the pro packs are the way to go if you just want to go cheap. Um, you got Dwayne Edwards because you still have a chance at a card, and you still might pull some collectibles and stuff. So really, the pro packs are the way to go. I just like opening bundles because I know it's you know it's something people like it's something people like to watch. And I enjoy opening packs. That's why I pretty much play this game. I don't do a lot of, I don't do really any head to heads except for a couple of friends I have now on here on uh, on PlayStation. But other than that, I don't play a lot of head to heads. I like opening cards and selling them and flipping the market. I like working the market. That's what I like doing on here. And this to me is fun opening these cards because honestly, it's just like any other. Even if you pulled real cards in your life, you don't know what you're gonna get. That's why I enjoy doing this. Popping a triangle. What do you get this time? Got a Mike Webster. Another one's going for like eh, about 3,000 coin. Nothing too major there. But I'm going to hang on to him because you never know. You get that Deacon Jones or there was rumors I've heard of a Night Train Lane coming out. So that would be pretty cool if they did a Night Train Lane. I personally will not do any of those collections, but I will make crazy coins doing all of those collections. <laughs> because if you hold on to the legendaries and all of a sudden people want to complete those to pick up that card, Friggin' sell them for a ridiculous amount. Like, I sold a John Elway for, like, almost 30,000 coin one day. I've uh, got a standard Matt Stafford base card. I don't know if he's going for anything. He was going for, like, 15. Last time I checked, but that was a long time ago. Let's see what we got here. Kicker, coach. Brady actually is in the weekly collection. That's pretty cool. Actually put a top 100 in there. But, yeah, I do enjoy pulling the packs. That's what I do enjoy about Madden. And I hope next year um, it's actually more fluent. I know I actually ended up picking up a PS4. Now, if you guys are on PS4, if you want to add me, it's still freaking tall. Do the same thing. I just transferred my account over. And yeah, just go to hit me up on, on PlayStation. and or, or, On PlayStation. On our PS4. And I have Madden on there too. So I'll be more than happy to play some games with you on there. Let's see what we got. Golden Tate Road. Stadium. Packers, can pop that in. Let's, see, let's go pro. Oh, Seven five hundred. Got a Dolphins home jersey to start us out. Pretty pretty cool stuff. Bam. What do we get here? Sean Hill, I know he ain't worth dick buckets, but we'll hang on to him. Because, like I said, cards, it's, it's kind of like the stock market. You have to treat us like the stock market. Cards fluctuate. Uh, as, soon as, as soon as they come out of the collection, if it's a decent collection, they skyrocket in price. And, yeah, that's the way I've pretty much played this game. Is hang on to everything you can. And then if you have to, you got to weed them out. Get rid of dupes. If you have, like, four or five of a card, just drop it down to two. Victor Butler. Road Edition. Bam. Oh, we got another collectible. Ah, I pulled a Randy Moss collectible. There we go. That hopefully will pay for some of my cards that I just got. So that's a cool pull. Happy about that. Okay, so we were that coach. Hopefully this goes for like, hopefully 30000 I can make some money back on that then. Oh, you know what? We're just going to quick sell that because I already have those. You can't trade or auction them. So that is that. That's a thousand coins. Okay, we'll open a few more here, and we're gonna call it a pack opening. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I really hope people enjoy the pack openings. I enjoy doing them. So, and it's nice to be able to film uh, with the new Madden coming up in August. I know it's a long time away, really, but I came in real late with the whole. Oh, nice. No way. Hold on. We're gonna scan through this. We got a gold strength out of that. We got, so that sells probably for at least a couple thousand coin. 
pulled another Randy Moss collectible. Well, I'm digging that. Hey, guys, leave, leave a like for the double Randy Moss back-to-back. -back. That was pretty tight. I like that. Uh, we got a Hickson. Pulled another Irvin. Yeah, that's a pretty good pack. Back-to-back -back Moss collectible. I like it. That's that's all right. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing for the new man. I'm gonna jump, be jumping right in day one. I'm gonna film. I'm gonna you know do everything. Probably gonna get it for the PS4, and I probably will get it for the PS3 too, just because I know not everybody's gonna have a PS4 yet. And I want to help. You know, I'm not really an Xbox guy, so I don't know if I'll get it for Xbox. But I'm I'm gonna have it for both PlayStation systems. So yeah, I'm gonna be going full force next year. I did kind of go um, a little halfway through it. Like I got the trail, the like the tail end here of Madden, so it should be interesting to start from fresh next year. Hopefully, it's a, a better improved game. Oh, I got a Mackey collectible. Okay, he's the newest one. We'll see what he's going for. Probably not for much, but I'll throw him up into my current roster. We'll see what he's going for. All right, so let's be pull a couple of those mosses. I'm gonna put a few more packs. Just hopefully those pay for the packs. I hope they do. That would be nice. Okay, we're starting out with a Bengals defense. Bam. What do we get? Anything good? Anthony Collins, head coach. Standard of injury. Cam Newton. Whoops. I want to keep the injuries. Okay, a quick sell. And slam all those in my reserves. Okay, we'll do that. Pro it up. Bam. Ah, pulled a Irvin play recognition. Probably not going for a lot, but hey, if it's not, I'll either sell it or I'll collect it. One or two. Um, you got a contract. Okay, Vincent Jackson. Bush. Jamaica Family Road. Okay, that's cool. So I got a couple cards to sell now. I might complete that urban collection just because you do get the the, the freaking packs for the drafts. And I'm, I'm kind of hoping they get, do a decent coin value. Well, yeah, that's another thing. What do you guys think about the coin value for the draft? Like, kind of hoping they do it like, like they did last year where it was worth... Um, like a million coins for number one draft. I hope they do that. Uh, that would be nice if they did that because then, you know, it would actually be worth something. Like if they did it like, you know, they did like a million, 500,000, 250, that'd be great. I had a really good time with that actually. That was really fun. I never got the number one pick, but I think I made like a million or two million coin after that because I happened to pull the collect a couple, uh, a couple of the cards. Rip in packs because we can. You know, we're gonna do one more, one more after this one, and then we're gonna call it a pack opening. I really appreciate you guys with me ramble on and open packs, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. Oh, there we go. Got a Cliff Averill. I know it doesn't go for much, but hey, coins are coins. So keep the play. Got a Dennis Pitta. Oh, we got a Chief collect. Okay, we got a draft collectible. He's only used in draft night, so he's not one of the ones in the collection, but that's okay. You know, hang on to him. You never know who's going to go where. Because the draft is random. Everything, everything I thought about last year was wrong. <laughs> Except for like, the number one pick. I was correct. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to have one more, and we're going to call it a pack opening. This will take me. Whoa, no, 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 no. Bad juju. Get away. Oh, yeah. No. Okay. Cracking one more. And Jason Garrett. Quam. Okay, we got a Thurm, head coach, kicker, Ronald Klein Road, Stadium, and Chris Conti. I think he was worth something for a while. I'm going to pop him in actives just to check. I don't think he's worth anything anymore, but still worth that, it, that he might burst him. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you guys listening to this. It's really cool um, that you guys actually watch my videos. Uh, it actually makes me feel really good. Uh, if you guys would, please leave a like for that double back-to-back -back moss, or just because you want to leave a like because you like the pack openings. Also, leave a comment down below on what you guys are doing. If you want any, if you have any ideas for what you want me to do in Madden or just any other game in general, much appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. 
So thank you guys, and this is Freaking Tall, the Friendly Gamer, signing out. Later, everybody.